Welcome to the post game between the Montreal Bleu Blanc Rouge and the Toronto Maple Leafs. This is the game number one, so don't go nowhere. Welcome back to another special edition of the Hockey Nation Live Show. This is your host, the hockey coach, your guru, Coach Frenchy, back in the booth for the first game, number one post game between the Montreal Canadiens and the Toronto Maple Leafs. And yes, the Montreal Canadiens win the first game by a score of 2-1. We're going to give you all the information. We're going to give you every details of what happening during this game. So let's start in right away what happened between the Montreal Canadiens and, of course, the Toronto Maple Leaf. So first, I think the first thing we need to talk about this is a really bad news happening during the game And uh, we have to start with this uh, news because uh, we heard, like, during the game, uh, John Tavares, after he got hit by Ben Sherrod at the blue line, he spin on himself, and obviously he got hit at the head by the knee of the Corey Perry instantly, and he got really, really got knocked out, and he cannot find his way. And then many people were scared about His condition, you can see right now, he leaves the, the ice on the stretcher. And you can see the, the, the body language of all the players around him where they are concerned about uh, John Tavares. And, uh, you know, this we don't like. Whatever you are, um, whatever you are, um, you know, uh, Montreal Canadian fans or a Toronto Maple Leaf, you don't like this happening to anybody and any players. So I just want to, you know... We wish the best for, really, for John, for the captain. Hopefully, he's going to find a way to recovery better. And uh, we wish for sure, um, not only for him, but also for the family, everything like that. So I think, um, you know, um, for his condition, it'd be better. Now, this, we have a, a better news about John Tavares. And let's check for you what I got for you about the condition, about John Tavares. We heard this a couple of minutes ago. Uh, let me check for you. Here we go. We have the news for you. The Toronto Maple Leaf captain, John Tavares, has been discharged from the hospital this morning. He was thoroughly examined and assessed by the neurosurgical team at St. Michael Hospital in the climate call director. He was keep overnight for observation. He is now resting at home under the care and supervision to defend For the team physician, Tavares would be out indefinitely, uh, but um, he lets also uh, John Tavares make um, a statement on the, his Twitter account said he just wants to thank everybody for the, the kindness, the great words and prayer to him and his family for his, you know, for his condition. And I think right now it's a great news to hear he's in a better way. Uh, better condition for him. So uh, we just wish him speed recovery. We understand behind the hockey, the human being is the most important thing. So uh, it's a great news to hear that. So before we start this post game, I want to mention the condition of John Tavares for me. It's very important. Like I, I love hockey. I have a passion about hockey. I'm a big fan of Montreal Canadian. But first and most, it's about the players. And that's the reason we start this video We take a time to mention what's going on with the condition of John Terrell. So let's dive in about what happened yesterday because honestly, the Montreal Canadiens win yesterday by a score of 2 1. It was an amazing, great game for the Montreal Canadiens, to be honest with you. This is a score sheet of the game, but we have to start right away what happened at the first period. John Anderson scored the first goal of the game. An amazing, great shot, to be honest with you. And let's show to you what happening about that one over there. And here we go. We can see the puck right away hit the post and then uh, change the direction for another post inside the net. Jack Campbell couldn't do anything. It was the first goal of the game and also the first goal, of course, for John Anderson. This was at 12.08 at the first period. Style it to fully have a first point in the NHL playoff 2021. Great stretch pass from uh, Eric Stahl to um, Josh Anderson. He, he beat uh, Bokosian and also sent in between both of them. And then he won a breakaway. 
and a quick release wrist shot beat Jack Campbell uh, around his glove side and gave the lead to the Montreal Canadian 1-0 Um, at the at twelve zero eight. Now we have any other goal during the first period. Uh, each team have a power play. Nobody scores during that power play. Um, but again, we we that situation with uh, John Tavares changed completely the 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 momentum of the game. I would say to you after this happening, uh, Mike Foligno want to fight with Corey Perry. We got a fight. But I think after that, it was over. I think everybody back at the game. And, uh, you know, it was better to everybody fix this between Foligno Perry and not to everybody run after Corey Perry all night. I think it was, at the end of the day, we're not agree for what maybe he did, Mike, Mike Foligno. Maybe not, or maybe. It's all, you know what I mean? But at the end of the day, we don't judge him. I think it was over. And let's move on for the game. And the Montreal Canadian, after one, uh, was leading 1-0. And the shot was 14-13 for the Maple Leaf after one. And so the second period, the only goal was come from William Nalander at 4-28. Mike, Fol uh, Mike. Uh, Nick Folino and Morgan Riley have their first point as a helper for that goal. Um, great shot for the point, to be honest with you. And then Sherrod did not cover Nalander on the right side of Car the Carey Price. And... Um, leave uh, Nalander alone and just, uh, you know, take the shot right away after the rebound. He scored and tied the game one to one. That was the final score after the second period. The shot was, again, advantage to Toronto Maple Leaf, eight to seven. Uh, again, both teams have a couple of power play. Nobody scored. Uh, the PK of both teams was really solid yesterday. Uh, they performed very well because you can see they have zero and nine and power play for both team yesterday. So um, we have to give credit for the PK for uh, for the for the Blue Blanc Rouge and also the Toronto Mel Palais. So after the two, it was one to one, uh, pretty even, both sides, couple of percent more for Toronto compared to Montreal. There was no, no chance for Montreal to go inside the, the and for the Campbell, I don't think it happening a lot. It was more for Carey Price was solid uh, during that game. Uh, so far after two. During the third period, what happened, this one over there, um, Montreal got a penalty for two minutes. Uh, it was, I believe, Tyler to Foley. And then during that penalty, Sandon shoot the puck, and then the puck got blocked by Paul Biron, and Paul Biron got, on, got a pass from Joel Armia, and then uh, for the race of the puck, Biron beat uh, Ramos send in to go face to face with Jack Campbell. He fouled on his knee and then with one <laughs> one move with his with, with his stick, move the puck over the shoulder of Jack Campbell. I just want to show you the picture of this goal, to be honest with you. And let's start with that one. Uh, not that one, I'm sorry about that. Here we go. You can see diving. Paul Biron passed the puck, and you can see Jack Campbell just looking to the puck, go over his shoulder, and he gave the goal uh, and gave the lead for the Montreal Canadian. Here, another picture about that one over there. He can see a little bit later, better how this is happening. Um, you can see on one knee, and then Paul Biron tipped the puck over the shoulder. An amazing goal for Paul Biron. Gave the lead for the Montreal Canadian at 2-1. The goal was at... 12.44, and short and done, Armia got an assist, an helper, 2-1 Montreal, and then at 14-15 minutes, Mitch Marner uh, got a 2 versus 1, an amazing great shot. Carey Price made the save of the night with his blocker, um, push from the, on the right to the left, on his right side, used his blocker, and stopped the puck, and that's the only really great opportunity they have until the end of the game, The Montreal got a penalty at the end of the third period, uh, and then at three minutes, 21, I believe, and then um, Toronto remo uh, removed the goaltender. Play at six versus four. Again, the Montreal Canadian PK was amazing. Block a shot a lot. Toronto cannot score. It was the end of the game. By a score at 2-1. Here the shot at the third period. Toronto again dominate 14 10 for a total of 36 to 30. Let's move on a little bit more about the diving, a little bit more about the the, the score sheet, uh, score 
stats. Um, their shot, it was 36-30 advantage Toronto Maple Leaf. Their face-off was 56-44 advantage Montreal Canadiens. Great performance for them. The power play, both teams, is 0-5-0-4. They hit 55 versus 27 advantage Montreal Canadiens. They have a really a physicality. Tonight, Montreal was dominate. It's a ratio at 2 for one Just to give you an idea how Montreal was amazing. The black shot, 13, Montreal, 10, Toronto. Minute penalty, 15, uh, Toronto, 13, Montreal. And both teams have 16 as a giveaway. The leader for the Toronto Maple Leafs last night, uh, Nalander, of course, but also uh, Riley um, have also uh, won as, uh, one point during the game. Matthews, eight shot on Carey Price, could not put the, the goal, the puck behind Carey Price. Uh, Mitch Monner played 27 minutes and 23 in the most at any player on the, in the game last night at 27-23 TOI. Finally, Jack Campbell have a .933 save percentage, top 28 of the 30 shot he faced yesterday. For the Montreal Canadiens, Paul Biron, the winning goal and shot in the at one point. Many others, like Tufoli, we have Armia, Josh Anderson, uh, have one point on that one. Uh, Shea Weber shot six times on Jack Campbell. Uh, T.O.I. the most for Montreal, Jeff Petrie, 23-16. Finally, Gary Price, an amazing great night, a .972 save percentage, sub 35 of the 36 shot he faced. Well, you can ask him more about him. He is a three-star of the night, the third star, William Nylander, with one goal, one point for Toronto. This is second star, with the winning goal, Paul Biron, and finally, the first star, with maybe the best performance of Carey Price of the year, I'll be honest with you, um, with a 35 save on the 36, a point seven save percentage on 973. He was amazing yesterday. I can tell you that he played his best game for me all year long. Uh, here's the next game for them. It's going to be Saturday at 7 o'clock in Toronto. Game number two, the Hockey Nation, I'm sure, is going to be live streaming. This game will be a, a pregame at 6.30, and we have also the post game. So be a part of this live stream. Join us. Hang out with us. We'll talk about the game for sure. But before we leave, I want to give you a couple of more stats for you. Just give you a, a performance at Toronto. Um, quickly, just jump on this. I don't want to jump, tell you all the explanation, but that give you an idea. Like, Riley have an amazing, great game yesterday. Iman, Foligno, Matthews. And on the flip side, Thornton have a bad game. Kerfoot, Sandin, uh, Bokosian, and Wayne Simons. Uh, you can see they have a more difficulty on the defensive side of the game and uh, did not do uh, not much on the offensive side. For the Montreal Canadiens, uh, let's jump in with that one. Look, Anderson, Star, too fully. Weber, not too bad. Armia, not too bad. Petri, not too bad. Uh, I think what struggled the most is Dano, Sharat, Tatar, Kulak. Funny for me, Kulak have a great game overall, and Gallagher, not much. But give you a little bit of an idea how this works. And if you want to get more information, let me know. I will let you know. But I think there's a great things to learn about those stuff like that. And uh, one thing I want to show to you is... Uh, the TOI of the, the Toronto Maple Leaf, just check on that, those numbers, you can see about that. So let's conclude another, the first game, uh, post game for the Montreal Canadian and the Toronto Maple Leaf. This is your coach, Coach Francis, directly from the boot. And we just want to remind you one more thing before we leave. Of course, you have what? You have greatness inside of you. Thanks again. Look forward to seeing you next time. Merci beaucoup de regarder un autre vidéo de Hockey Nation Live Show. On se reparle un peu plus tard. Bonne journée.